What's up you guys, Jason here and today I'm going to show you how I made a lanyard for my fire rod. Please enjoy the video. This is my ferro rod fire starter from Exotac and as you can see it's green in color and this would be pretty easy to lose around the campsite and I really don't want to have to buy another one. It's an American made premium product and if you want to know more about this product I will link all the details in the description below. This is the original packaging and uh, included is a small piece of paracord but I really don't like it so I'm going to be replacing this with a spare piece of guy rope from my tent. In order to make the lanyard this is what you'll need a key ring, carabiner, a box of matches or a lighter, a sharp pair of scissors and a piece of paracord or guy rope about a meter long. The first step is to install the keyring onto the fire rod. Next we feed the loop onto the keyring and secure it tightly. Now we feed the loose ends of the paracord or the guy rope through the carabiner. I have jumped a bit forward and uh, I will leave a step-by-step -step tutorial at the end of the segment. Uh, but basically over here I'm following a very simple pattern by feeding the rope over and back through itself and uh, you can make it as long as you choose. Continue all the way down until it's flush with the keyring. It's then time to cut the loose ends and singe it with matches or a lighter and this way it won't unravel on itself. And there you go, all done. I chose these colors because they're visible uh, but basically you can choose any color you like. Now that it's done, I simply clip it to my belt loop and tuck it into my pocket. This way I always know where it is and I'll never lose it. For simplicity's sake, I'm using two different colored pieces of rope. This is just to make it easier to follow the tutorial. I don't have a spare keyring, so in this case I'm using a carabiner, but the same principle applies. Uh, simply make a loop and secure it around the keyring. And then feed the two loose ends of the rope through the carabiner. Starting from the right, make a loop up over the top. Take the yellow rope, wrap it over and around the orange rope, take it around the back of the carabiner, through the orange loop and pull it tight. At this point you can still adjust the length of your lanyard. Now notice we do have a yellow loop on the left. We always start on the side that has the loop. So starting from the left we take the orange rope, make a loop up over the top, take the yellow rope, over the orange rope, around the back, behind the carabiner, through the orange loop, and pull it tight. The loop is now on the right hand side. So starting from the right, we make a loop over the top, take the yellow rope, wrap it over and around the orange rope, around the back of the carabiner, through the orange loop, and pull it tight. Continue the same pattern until you are flush with the keyring, cut off the loose ends, Singe it with a match or lighter and you're good to go. As a footnote, I do buy a lot of my camping equipment from a company called Just Papa. They are based in Cape Town, so it's super convenient. I really like them because of their product selection and their exceptional service. If you'd like to check them out, I will leave all the details in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found the tutorial useful. Uh, please support me by hitting the like and subscribe button and hope to see you in the next video. Cheers and bye. I'm not going to lose that now. Hey? Eh? No, it's not. I'm not going to lose that at all. <laughs> Bam!